classmates was shot outside of our school on Thursday and it was a very good friend of mine and a good friend of these girls over here and it made us kind of realize there was not enough safety precautions for our schools. So we're all out here, most of us Bethel students, we had a couple Phileo students out here. We've been out here since Monday and we're trying to get higher fences because kids have been hopping this fence over here and it's extremely dangerous. And we are trying to get our school cameras working and people to monitor them. And finally, we really, really want a resource officer out here to make connections with students. So we are out here as students. My dad was out here, my mom was out here. We had teachers out here trying to make a difference for not only our school, but the other schools around and to make a difference because what affects us at the high school affects us at the elementary school. So we're trying to make a difference for everybody. And so, some of our signs say that we have a school board meeting tonight and we're hoping to see a lot of people there tonight to help us out and speak their piece on what they feel about our safety at our schools because we need a lot of support and that's what we're doing out here. We saw him third period, we saw him between classes and then fourth period he was gone. He was shot in the head right on the edge of our campus and that was a huge like breakdown for a lot of us because we all knew him we a lot of us grew up with him and our school continued to say over to our parents all students and staff are safe if we were all safe he would have never died so we are not okay with that either we're also trying to bring respect between um, the students and the staff and the parents because if they can't respect us enough to tell us the truth how are we supposed to respect them to help them out when they need it so that's another thing that we're working on right now. The school isn't safe at all, like, not at all. What kind of problems are you seeing at the school? Can you give me some examples of things? My boyfriend got robbed by the same guy Max got shot by the, the day before, and that's not safe, and it was on campus, and he got robbed at gunpoint, so. What did the, what did the, did he report it? Yeah, we reported it right after it happened. And, and what did the school do? They didn't do anything. I did not do anything, like what? You went in, you reported it, and then what? They said, don't worry about it, I mean... Well, we called the cops first, because we knew the school wouldn't do anything, and now the school just let it go. There's a policy problem. The board district, or the district, they always push away the cops and any media and tell everyone it's safe when it's not, because we've had riots up here that the media doesn't know about, that no one knows about. You tell you enlighten me. Okay, so... Before we had spring break, like a month or two ago, we had a breakout of riots, and when you say a riot, what, what kind of a, what what what's a riot? Are we talking fighting? Three like, people having a fight, fight or fifty no, people having a fight? Like fi more than fifty, and when, when did that happen? Like sometime in March. And is that something that you saw, or you? you yeah, I saw. I had to leave campus because I did not feel safe at all. The principal. I'm in the Multimedia Academy, and my teacher, was. she told him to go record it, and then he couldn't go record it because he had to help stop it. And she was like, it's a good thing you didn't record it. We're going to push away the cops. And your teacher said this? No, the principal. The principal said this? Kingston, yes. And, and what do you, why, why do you think the principal would say that in the middle of a riot? Honestly, I don't know. Max was shot and killed right off campus. Um, and that terrifies me. And then my best friend and her boyfriend were recently held up by the same person at gunpoint. The cops basically didn't do much about it. And the school hasn't been doing much about the safety. Since I've transferred here in January, there have been like a multitude like of huge fights. When you say huge, tell me how, how many people is huge. Like 50 plus. When you say a, a multitude, I mean, is it one, two, three, five? Like, at least ten. And it feels like the school is just brushing it under the rug and they're not doing anything about it. And it's like, I tell my mom and she's like, what, you're exaggerating. It's like, no. Yeah, the police get called and people get put in cuffs, but that's about it. I mean, I, I don't think much else gets done about it. So the people that are involved, I mean, do you see them in, back in school the next day? Yeah. In the next few days, they're back. I'm here for support of the kids here. I am the father of a young lady that started this, and I believe the kids can say at best what is needed at school for their safety. They don't feel safe here. 
and there are things that the school board and the school district need to take care of to make these students feel safe. Really, the administration doesn't do anything. They just look, look like. sign papers and make themselves try and look good. Well, if all the students were safe, explain to me how Max got killed. Explain to me how someone, how that even happens. You can't. Yeah. That's about all I have to say on the issues.